Yo, Internet, you know what I'm actually happy about? That's actually back in the news, news again. We're talking about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, a game that I'm actually really happy about, and a game that I'm actually really excited, excited to see again, because because it's kind of crazy how like that a game that came out back in 2004 and whatnot and has been surviving on the fan patches has been one of the more astute and kind of like hard hitting R uh, RPGs to kind of hit PCs like in a long while and this is no like um like a like and this is nothing bad the bad thrown at Fallout or Fallout New Vegas or anything else but I'm actually happy that it is back and they have been talking about something that is pretty interesting today, which is that they are not going to assign any exclusivity deals deals on anything. Okay, and what does that mean? Like, like everybody has 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 been talking about about the Epic Game Store, and the fact that they have been talking about, hey guys, listen, give us money, um, a money, uh, um, a money for all the big games and whatnot. They're like, well. Like keep them here for like a year to six months, and they're like, they say then like we'll release them out 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 on Steam and other places. The guys that uh, they're like uh, they say uh, the guys making uh Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, they're like, yeah, no, we're not gonna have that. Our game is gonna come out on PlayStation 4, but it's gonna come out on PlayStation 4, X, uh, Xbox One, PC, Steam, say Steam, GOG, Paradox Store, and also the Epic Game Store. All right, we want people to experience the game and have fun. Now, if it's popping up on GOG, GOG, also you don't got to worry about, about about DRM. So there's also that that too. Moving along though, we also have that uh, the length of uh, the game has has also been revealed, and uh, the game is say uh, is slated to be around 25 to to uh, to uh, 30 hours long, long. Now that's even with like um, side quests, um, uh, the side quests featured uh, featured in the game, and also doing like all the other little fun fun stuff. And say, and yes, I can already understand that that some people like that they might look at it and say, God damn it, shut up. Uh, some people they they might look at it and they might say, well, now you know, like if like it's a problem because of the fact of like that uh, the game itself. Like uh, it's a like it's not as long as normal RPG games, and I and I have to say that I find that that's that that's a good thing because Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, like depending on which which character class you start as, the game can be very different from from playing as a Malkavian to playing as a Nosferatu to playing as a Bruja to playing as um, a uh, to playing as a, um, a Tremere, you know, or like a Toreador. I mean, like everything is different in its like uh, so like like the game the interactions how people perceive you the, the things like that you can and can't do do the way how that you handle problems it's all different and it can vary so like and depending on which one you have it can so like it can change that 25 hour like uh that 25 to 30 hours like lot like it actually matters you know, so I like it. Also, on top of that, too, it's like that. Well, obviously, their 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 voice cast will be extremely good. So, with that out there, what I do have have a uh, to say about this is that I'm actually really happy that 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 they are putting a lot of time to try and make this as unique as they so like as they possibly can, since it's gonna pop up all over the place. But until then, that is what I gotta say about that. If you have anything else to tell me if I'm wrong or whatever, please uh, shoot me um, uh, some messages down there in in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next John Grave Show. I'm out.